So, you might want to buy cutlery and utensils because sometimes they don't give you that at uni. Hmm. Yeah, don't make your housemates make you feel bad for frying plantain in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't buy unnecessary stuff like yogurt makers. Um, you could get like basically all you need in Wilco, like in terms of like your bathroom utensils and your bedding. Like everything comes like really cheap. So go to Wilco. I would personally say that all Primark actually. So um, we've come to do some uni shopping, and um, yeah, what are we buying in particular? Station and do they stuff i said i'll do like a going back to uni video and um yeah i think in second year what you buy will be a lot different to what you buy in first year because hmm, um what, like, why would your stuff be, it'll be different because you'll find out you need a lot less stuff and when you first go to uni you just kind of want to buy everything you see my sister <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna kind of show you some of the stuff that I'm gonna buy today as a second year. So yes, as requested, I said I would do a what to take to university um, video. Well, I had this issue last year where I became a hoarder and I took so much stuff to university. I had my mum's car filled, I had my dad's car filled, they even wanted to come back a second time. That's how much stuff I brought to uni. And by the time I was actually moving out and bringing my stuff back to London, I had even more stuff. And as I was packing, I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, half the stuff I brought, I either didn't wear, didn't use, or was just catching dust in one area of my room. Like, it, it gets as real as that. So I just thought that yeah, I would make a video and kind of help you decide what you actually want to take to university so that you're not just taking like bits of things that you don't actually need and it's just going to take space wherever you are. Okay, so as you're packing, the baseline of all your thoughts needs to be, am I taking essential things? Is everything I'm taking important? Do I really, really need to take this? So as you're putting stuff into your suitcases, y'all need to be asking yourself that one question with like various forms because you're going to find you're going to overpack things you really don't need like, I don't know, summer dresses when you know you're going to be in university and it's going to be, you know, the winter months that you're going to encounter not so much the summer months it's things like that that you just need to question for all of you that are actually living in like dormitories or you know you're moving away from your from your home to go to university you're obviously going to be thinking okay i do need bed sheets and you know um pillows and duvets and other things like that and probably some extra accessories to make your room feel a bit more at home okay so I'm assuming as well that everyone has like written a list of kind of what they want. My list consisted of one duvet, duvet, is that how you say it? A duvet? Dove it? Duvet? A duvet. <laughs> one duvet, um, probably a couple of pillows. I actually buy most of my bedroom stuff from either Primark or Wilco. I do a lot of online shopping on eBay as well because not everything that you would find on eBay would be used. There's actually retailers out there. So um, this year, for example, um, I've bought a duvet, like I said some pillows pillows from primark primark do like an excellent um two-pack range where it's like i think four pound ninety for some pillows but mm -hmm. quality quality not so great but you know they're cheap i mean everyone's looking to save some coins before they go to uni primark's a great place to do that on top of that as well you want to actually buy your bed sheets now me and my mum last year we actually um butted heads over this situation because she wants quality in bed sheets while whereas I, I don't really care about the quality i'm only going to use it for one year and then i'm going to throw them away which was you know what i did anyway so you can look at you know probably getting your stuff from primark again you know they do lots of single bed sheets for around you know seven eight pounds and if you're getting a double you could get some for like 11 12 pounds i actually bought my bed sheets this year from ebay one of my bed sheets and um it obviously comes with the duvet cover and the pillowcases one thing everyone needs to remember when they're buying like their little duvet sets these don't include your bed spread okay so you need to buy the bed spread separately and these packs only probably come with like a certain limited amount of pillowcases so if you're like me who loves four pillows on one bed then you know you need to buy some extra pillowcases like i said primark are great for that because you know they're doing 
I think they're even doing a sale right now. If you go to Primark right now, they're doing like a little mini sale where I think it's 30% off all homeware. I think they do it every August. It's quite weird because they know everyone's going to uni and everyone needs some bed stuff. So they always like slash down prices around the homeware section. You want to buy things like a mat a mattress protector so like this literally goes underneath your mattress and obviously protects the mattress from you know I don't I actually don't know why you buy these stuff but my dad always tells me to buy them so I actually buy it sorry I don't know <laughs> I actually don't know why I buy it but yeah I think everyone should buy it just because they need to they get also pillow protectors as well so if you're like clammy about that kind of stuff you can buy some for your pillows all my girls as well who obviously like to make their bedroom look at you know a bit cute and have that personal touch there like I said Wilco and Primark do really really nice personal touches that you could you know include in your room make it feel a bit more homely things like fairy lights and you know candles and little ornaments Primark do them definitely and like I said Wilco you could definitely check out the prices Ikea is even wicked for things like this because they for some reason like I did not deep how cheap they were until like last year when I started doing a lot of like uni shopping but because I live in South East and the biggest one is in Croydon like my parents were a bit more reluctant to want to go to um, Ikea so I guess if you're around that area you could definitely check out Ikea take some cleaning utensils with you as well you can't hurt bringing some flash along the way or some sif i mean you're definitely going to be doing your own cleaning for your own room so you know a dustpan and brush it is good here and there things to clean in general what you think you would need to clean bring it along i had cleaners that came to clean my en ensuite but they just didn't clean to my um my level of cleanliness so i would go back and clean myself anyway so yeah unless you like a dirty environment i would advise you to buy some cleaning materials so me and my sister we actually did go um wilco this week was it this week or last week we went wilco at some point in time and like yeah we were just browsing through um quite a bit of stuff see what i actually wanted to get um and i would say like like I said, the prices are low and they kind of do everything that you need from stationery to homeware. From homeware to gardenware, you're not going to need gardenware. I don't know why I mentioned that. But um, yeah, like things like duets, they come incredibly cheap from there because they have a functional range, which would be like your basic your basic line of stuff. So um, things like dryers. I suggest that everyone buy a, um, what's called a drying rack. Okay, um, I bought a drying rack, but then I gave it away. So someone, I was feeling nice, I gave it away, I thought I wouldn't need it, but I ended up doing washing at the house anyway, that's another story, but um, yeah, I bought a drying rack because when I was in first year, we didn't have um, washing machines in our kitchens, we had like a big washroom where we would have to go and you know, um, wash our stuff and then put our stuff into dryers, and to dry it costs like £2 something, so I thought, let me save some money, and actually just get a drying rack so I would literally wash my stuff in the washing machine and bring it home and put it on the drying rack I mean things like that where you're cutting edges and cutting those corners you're definitely saving money so invest in a really nice drying rack where you're able to put quite a bit of stuff on some of you would have found out if you got some accommodation at your university or not by now so you also need to check if you're self catered or you know catered to i mean if you're catered to you could definitely skip out all the bits when it comes to you know buying plates and houseware this is like i mean you'll probably want a few because you might have a kitchen net to work with but if you're catered you probably won't need a, a big deal of those things if you're self catered you're going to need some pots as well don't forget your pots you do want to buy some sturdy pots because i bought some really really crap pots last year from wilco and um the bottom the bottom of all my pots literally burnt out and my food got really burnt so yeah invest in some good pots i would say that because you're probably gonna have these pots for the next three years anyway you don't want to buy a new set of pots every year it's not bed sheets for example now when it comes to kitchenware you do want to be smart with this because everyone kind of has this idea that yes i'm gonna buy kitchenware but my kitchenware is gonna be all white or and i'm gonna have like silver cutlery okay but everyone does that and then there's like no distinction between what is yours and what's not yours and then you find your housemates are using your stuff and you know it just gets like really messy and confusing so um where did i buy my stuff last year i bought like a set of plates in a little box from argus for like six pounds and i think it was like a, a 12 pack so um obviously when i got to university my uni did provide some um kitchenware such as like plates and cutlery but they were pretty much plain and like I said half of my stuff 
got mixed up with half of everyone else's stuff and you know there was one girl in my flat that was quite smart she bought distinctive plates things with like patterns on it so even if we did use her plates we knew that they were her plates and she would know that they were her plates so everyone kind of like kept away from her stuff because we knew that it was her stuff I mean you could try labeling your stuff but I mean you're gonna wash your plates I don't know how the labels are gonna stay on so it's better just to opt for you know very distinctive things that you're gonna put in communal places things like you know plates with flowers on them you know just just distinctive things like that it's important to know what your university will actually will give up to you you know so um like I said I know my uni was quite nice and they gave us you know plates and some cutlery but proper proper kitchen utensils were not to be found so things like colanders and you know knives and other kitchen stuff like sieves we had none of that so um luckily my mom had actually instructed me to buy some so buy some kitchenware that you're actually going to use colanders come very handy when you really want to be cooking pasta and you know spaghetti you know stuff like that so definitely get a colander you might need a block of knives as well so um i'll just do very cheap kitchenware in their homeware section as well you could just literally pop into a catalog and see what they actually do okay they're important bit. So we're going to university and we definitely need, need some equipment that we're actually going to use at university. So for example, notebooks and you know stationery, that's one thing that definitely needs to be on your list. However, it will not take like a fat piece out of your list because you, everyone's kind of used to doing a bit of stationery shopping. We've been in school for god knows how long so stationery shopping shouldn't be too hard. But you need to keep at the back of your mind just how organised you're, you know, looking to be. The more organised you are, the better. So now I've, you know, kind of done one first year of university. Um, I'm going to redo it anyway. But um, what, where, where am I going with this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so you need to be very, very, very organised. When you're not organised, you find, oh my gosh, my papers and this things are just like kind of all over the place. So I, this year, I'm going to have one book per module. One book per module. That way I'm not having like six, seven different modules, but it's all in one book. Because for me, I don't think that makes sense. I mean, at the end of the week, I plan on like ripping my papers out and putting them into a folder anyway. That way to keep very, very organised, at least I know my papers are all in one place. And they are separated as well. So I actually bought um, lots of A4 notebooks from um, Wilco for like £2. They're like £2 each and they're hard as well, so they're not like the paper ones where, you know, the front gets really flimsy very quick. So I bought that for like £2 from Wilco. You want some pens as well, probably some highlighters. Because we are at uni now, I think we could skip on all like the colouring pencils and PVA glue. I don't think we need that anymore. <laughs> so um, literally, your stationery will be very basic this year, but as long as you've got like lots of pens and notebooks and folders then you should be good to go when it comes to the stationery department now this is one of the most important sections okay i want everyone to you know sit down get a pen and a notebook and start noting these things down okay your clothes okay everyone probably has you know a wardrobe full of clothes you know lots and lots and lots of clothes what you need to do now is decide what is actually going to go with you to university Remember as well, you're probably going to be visiting home whenever you can. So there's no point taking your whole wardrobe to uni. Because like I said, you're going there for school. Probably, you'll probably engage in a bit of parties, but you know, we'll get onto that bit in a bit. So, where you're in school from about September till June, majority of that is winter months. So we're definitely not going to be taking, you know, skimpy shorts, lots of summer dresses, maxi dresses, what all do men then wear? Um, car cargo shorts. You guys wear cargo shorts, yeah or nay? Well, you're not going to take any of your summer stuff because you're not really going to need that. You're going to probably be focusing on your jackets and your jeans and your boots and your, you know, what not, leave your flip-flops at home. You're not going to need them. So, um, when it comes to your wardrobe, please take what you would actually wear. I took so much clothes, like I said, that I didn't end up wearing. A lot of party clothes that I did not end up wearing either. So, um, be wise with what you're taking because most of my stuff were clothes and like I said I did not wear most of them so maybe things like lots of t-shirts lots of jeans a few shoes 
Um, I definitely took loads of boxes of shoes last year, and that took up so much space because I'm a kind, I'm the kind of girl that just loves to keep her boxes, which obviously is not needed. Interestingly enough, make sure you take some money as well with you to university before you go first years. Um, yeah, you're probably going to go before a student loan even drops into your account and you obviously do still need to eat. Um, I've always thought it was a good idea to at least save some money before you go anyway in case of like emergencies or God knows what could happen. So saving some money to go is essential as well. Don't forget to take some money with you. In regards to finance as well, make sure that as well if you can save, 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 save. I know some people will look at you and like, how do you even save in university? Fam, I think it's possible, innit? You could save some money. Just try and save where you can. Even if, you know, your student loan comes in, maybe you get a grand and, you know, some of your money's gone to your rent. Let's just say £600 goes to your rent. You've got £400 to live off for the next three months. I mean, taking £50 from the £400 and saving it isn't so harsh i mean i think it could be done so save where you can and most importantly in order to save you definitely would need to budget so budget the important things like food budget important things like your maybe your social life how much you plan on spending on like going out how much you plan on spending on transport as well i think the mistake that people make they never ever budget in transport but you're traveling around so much and you wonder where all your money's gone it's gone to transport so you definitely need to um yeah budget in your transport um, University of Kent students, we're lucky, we have a uni bus. I think if you're going to be getting on that bus a lot, buy the uni pass. It is definitely worthwhile. £170, not too bad. I think it's something we should all get. After you've bought all your essential stuff, I guess you can now start looking at other things that you probably would want. Maybe like a television and some speakers in your room. You know, those personal touches to your room or personal things that you actually do want to bring. And my favourite thing of all, make sure you take your morals your common sense and your discernment with you as well when you're going to university you're going to meet so many different people there and you definitely need to discern people for what they are who they are you don't want to end up making like the wrong friends so i wouldn't try and get attached to anyone too early i mean it's still early you can still proper fill people out before you know you get close with them I guess instead of like being stuck with someone who you really don't like and they just don't do anything to like edify your soul or your spirit. So discernment is number one on that list. Make sure you take that with you and your morals from home. If you guys do have any questions, uh, I guess more in-depth questions about what you want to take, I guess you can email me. I'll have my email down below in the description box and you guys can ask questions and ask them away. I will definitely will answer. Uh, um, yeah, apart from that, I think I've kind of covered what you should be taking in terms of like the essentials and how not to overpack because like i said this is a hoarder you're looking at right now who hoarded so much stuff in her uni room that just wasn't needed